Douglas Murray. Douglas, you've written for many years about Europe's suicidal tendencies and we've got another example here. In Brussels Parliament, an imam chose to recite a verse from the Quran that explicitly calls on Muslims to kill Jews and to take Jews captive. Now, for the past 10 years, uh, we've seen stories about the exodus of Jews from countries like Belgium, and it's easy to see why with the climate of fear and hostility they face. It's, it's, it's a classic example of the era we're in, Rita. I mean... You, there are two possibilities with this imam. Either the people inviting him had no idea what he was saying, in which case they shouldn't be there and they shouldn't be issuing invitations if they have no idea what their guests are saying, or they knew perfectly well what he was saying. And in that case, they shouldn't be there. Um, he, uh, one of the hosts apparently said, you know, this is a celebration of the wonderful way in which Pakistanis have integrated into our community in, in Belgium, which has to be some kind of a joke. Uh, if you go to Belgium, it's become, in my view, very little more than a sort of international airport. In, in, I mean, nobody is integrated. The country's a total mess. Um, and uh, you allow things like this to go on. Uh, they've had plenty of terrorist attacks in Belgium. None of them have seemed to have woken up mm. the authorities to the threat within. They've had anti-Semitic attacks for years. None of that seems to have woken up the authorities to the state that they're in. And, and now this, yes, I mean, it's not just Jewish people. It's, it's people of, of, of any non-extremist kind who should think very hard about whether or not they want to live in this hellscape that's being created that used to be known as Belgium. Now, you've written about Joe Biden's uh, catastrophic presidency and his shameful weakness in trying to reward Hamas with a two-state solution. You call the two-state solution a fairy tale and among the least successful ideas in the world. Tell my viewers why you don't think um, it's possible, why you consider it a fantasy. Well, the first thing is, is that Western politicians keep talking about the two-state solution, have done all my life, as the magical solution to everything that goes wrong in the Middle East. They always have said left and right, conservative, Labour, they all, Republican, Democrat, they all say the same thing. They've said for years, decades indeed, if you, give, if you sort, have a two-state solution, uh, then everything else in the Middle East will be fine. It was always a fantasy. The, the economy of Yemen is not going to blossom if the Palestinians get given another state. Um, but, you know, they, they, they always said this. And so now what the in very interesting thing that's happening, Rita, is that as Biden gets towards the end of this presidency, Blinken, his Secretary of State in particular, seems to have decided that the two-state solution, solving the, the, the two-state solution issue, which his predecessors tried so hard to do, should be his achievement. And he is sending out mm. Lord Cameron, David Cameron, the British Foreign Secretary, as his sort of front man to float this idea. The problem is the idea stinks for two reasons, very quickly. The first is, if the Palestinians were given another state uh, today, it would be seen as a reward for October the 7th. The response of October 7th in the international community, it would be, let's give the Palestinians another state. That just incentivizes terror. The second thing, however, is, as I say in that piece, the Palestinians were given a state in 2005, a state where they had their own free and fair elections, uh, and they voted in Hamas. Uh, and then they stayed in power for 18 years. And Hamas created a terror state. And they were not overthrown and they started a war, mm -hmm. which they're now losing. If they were given another state, yet another state, the Palestinians, this time presumably in the West Bank, all of Israel would be at risk from the same rocket fire, the same terror. I think it's totally, un it's just impossible, certainly now, uh, for such a thing to happen. But I think that it's worth people realising this and not taking part in this delusion.